in your usual data analysis you might have seen that you need a way to filter out top 5 top 6 or top n values like in this case you're seeing top 5 uh, states with respect to sales in the superstore data how do we add a slider like this wherein you can cherry pick uh, the n values let's say top 11 uh, values and then you get the data from that those 11 values or maybe increase it to more similarly if you are doing an analysis typically a more advanced level uh, analysis uh, and you are using a reference line in this case which shows average quantity and if you want to just check by shifting this reference uh, line left and right by just moving it with the slider so that you can do the analysis of how many points are falling to the left or right of this line so all this and more can be done by what we know as parameters in Tableau. So hi, this is Manu from Climatrix, and today we're going to discuss all these features and more using parameters in Tableau. Now, parameters, uh, and specifically in this video, we will cover how to create a parameter and what are the uses of parameters. So in this Tableau sheet, we have our Superstore data already imported. So what we'll do is using this drop down menu we can use create parameter option and this gives us this create parameter uh, pop-up box now let's try to understand what all options we have here so number one this is the name of the parameter and then there is data type current values and all this stuff so let's first create a parameter and then we'll talk about why they are required so let me uh, create a parameter which is a sales parameter okay and then uh, I'll give some uh, data type to it so I make it uh, integer because if uh, I, I pick a specific value from here it would be a numeric value and then I want to give a range to it so let's say the minimum is uh, one thousand let's say and maximum is let's say one million okay let's check okay okay so now we have our sales parameter and you see once we create a parameter and click ok and if everything is fine we get this parameter here and since it's a hash it means it's a numeric or integer based parameter we can again show parameter over here and as you can see this parameter gives us minimum value as 1000 and maximum value as uh, 1 million right now you can always change the type of uh, the parameter as in whether you wanted a range or you can even pick a list and all we'll cover them one by one so let's stick to uh, this current selection which is a sales parameter now why do we need this parameter this is basically a kind of a placeholder or a kind of a way where the user can give his own input so for example in this sheet i can take or we can take input from the user by users changing this value and some uh, things happening in this calculation uh, so how do we link this with some calculation here for that we need to create a calculated field and link the parameter to that calculated field so what I'll do here is I'll create another calculated field which is sales uh, bands let's say uh, in this case I'll say if sale is less than sale parameter then I'll call it uh, then I'll call it a low sale else if sales is or let's just make it very simple else uh, we'll make it high so that if it is above it then it is high okay okay so else i'll make it high just to make it really simple and then we'll end it and the calculation is valid which means our calculated field is okay and then we say apply and then okay now let's do a simple thing let's create first a chart of state sorry uh, of uh, 
state so let's create a simple chart of state versus sales All right so this is what we get obviously this has aggregation of all the sales for the state across different air and granularity as it is now uh, just so now that we have this graph what if we color this graph based on sales band so you see wherever the sales is low it is showing low and wherever it is high it is showing high now so that's how we are getting uh, a the color bands for sales based on the parameter that we select here now if let's say we increase this parameter to some higher value so you will see these bands change because orange is low so if we increase it all are falling below that sales level right now parameters find varied application uh, let's see a few other cases uh, so we just saw how to use parameter for uh, a numeric field now let's use the same approach for a categorical or a string or a text field so this time we're going to create a new parameter and we're going to call it the category uh, parameter and basically it is our it's, it would be a string field obviously because category is a string and then we will use a list this time which means you can take the values from an existing column of field so these are the categories and then we say okay and then when i show this category parameter you'll see that we have these three options available next what we do is i'm going to create a subcategory sales uh, visualization so subcategory and the corresponding sales so we get something like this which is basically um, all the subcategories and the corresponding sales now if i do anything here nothing is happening here because we have not linked it so let's create a calculated field and let me call it category calculation so what we'll do here is simply we will say that if the category is equal to the category parameter so whatever we have selected here in category parameter if that is equivalent to the category in the corresponding row then we'll compare it and it will return true and false if the values are uh, same or not right so just to have a look right now we have selected office supplies if you see the data and the category calculation over here so because um, my category is office supplies so wherever that is office supplies you will have true and wherever it is not it will have false right so and if you keep on changing it this calculation will also change let's have a look again if i make it furniture so this time wherever there is furniture it's true wherever it is not furniture it's false and then finally we bring this category calculation into filter and just select true so which essentially means that we are just filtering the values based on this selection so wherever the category parameter is office supplies my category calculation over here will be true for the rows which have office supplies under category column and false for rows which don't have office supplies under the category column so and then we are filtering only true values which means only those rows will be filtered where this is true or in other words where the category parameter matches the value in the category column and hence we are creating a kind of a filtering methodology uh, without actually using filters now you might say that uh, we can achieve the same thing using a filter but once you look at various use cases and different advanced topics uh, you will realize that this kind of parameter based filtering also finds its application in various tableau uh, based visualization and finally uh, let's do one more interesting thing uh, let's talk about top n values based on a specific numeric field so let's bring states and the corresponding sales figure into 
our visualization and we have something like this now we can easily filter the states based on top let's say 10 fields and based on which is by sales sum okay so if i do that we get top 10 states based on the sales figure right so these are top 10 states but what if i want to have a dynamic way to change the top n so the n should be dynamic and should be uh, accessible in my uh, visualization so otherwise we will always have to go to this filter and then change top 10 and just change the number right number 11 12 so on so forth so this time we'll say uh, create a new parameter so this is a new parameter and we'll say top n parameter and then um, current value is 0 and we'll say minimum value is 1 and maximum let's say is 50 and then step size is 1 by default so I'll say ok and apply now what happens is if I show this top n parameter over here so we see I'm saying top 1 value if I increase it top 5 top 11 of 22 this way we i am giving it a dynamic way to pick up top n values where n is now controlled by the number here so i get top 20 top 10 whatever i select here right so i can dynamically increase how many n values i want to incorporate this i think is a pretty uh, decent feature uh, using parameter and finally uh, if i want to use parameter in my reference line that also is a very good feature that we can use using parameters uh, parameters also uh, help you in your what if analysis so this is a one good use case so let's plot sales and let's say quantity uh, for different let's say state so i'm bringing it into details so this is what i get right now let's say uh, or let me also bring in city here so that i have more uh, granularity let me remove state okay now this is what we have so if i add a reference line here so just add a reference line here so you'll see that this reference line says that you can uh, put a reference line based on the value sum quantity and average okay and then you can say label by computation and tooltip automatic whatever uh, you select will be uh, shown here accordingly but uh, what if i say value is using a parameter right so if i choose my reference line uh, so let's first do it by this okay the average quantity and this is the reference line which is 71.3 that is the average quantity okay in this given scenario now what i do is i right click and i edit the reference line and instead of the sum quantity i say create a parameter and i say reference line parameter okay and then th in this case i'll pick a range right now based on the last selection we know that the average value was 71 so let's make it between 10 to 100 right 10 to 100 and then you say okay and now if i show my parameter here so you see i can change this reference line by sliding this and what's happening here is my reference line is getting shifted based on my selection here right and that way i it gives me an option to create a reference line which is dynamic so if i just edit the values here just to so let's make it because it's going all the way to 3500 so let's make it somewhere around 3000 and now if i change my values you see how the reference line can be dynamically changed right we can do the same thing over here and create a different uh, analysis out of this so this is i think a very good use case where you can use parameter to create your dynamic reference line right so very helpful in creating a what if kind of analysis so so in this video we learned uh, what are parameters and their applications there are a lot of other applications also but we typically covered filtering using parameters dynamic top end values and dynamic reference line so i hope you like this video in case 
you want to see more video like this do subscribe to our channel and please support us and follow our channel thank you so much this is manu from climatic data lab